Hello, welcome back to Tony Northeastern, and uh, we're over here at the bench. And um, what you're looking at in front of you is the uh, pump house, comboiler house. Um, this is going to go alongside the um, gasometer over at the junction. Um, so I wasn't going to do a video on this, but uh, there might be a few tips and bits and pieces you may be interested in. So let's have a quick look of uh, how I'm getting on at the moment. Right, so take the box away and I have a few bits and pieces in front of me. These pieces here are part of the kit. But this piece here I made up separately. What I've done is I've made some pipe work and a little sort of platform um, for the pipe work. So there's the isolation valve there and that's the pressure relief valve on the top there. And I've made all this out of bits of scrap lying in my common handy drawer because all the bits and pieces I've saved over the years um, for making pipe work out of uh, all off various kits and uh, I, I keep everything that came off um, the servicing pit it's for the engine shed so that's worth keeping so yeah there's a little bit of platform that came off the fire station all bits and pieces that's just left over really always come in handy and then that when it's finished we'll just go alongside boiler hut so the tube and pipework goes into the boiler hut and then from then on it would go to the gas meter so that's where we are at the moment um, I've already pre-made the chimney stuck it to its stone base obviously this is the actual boiler house itself um, I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the base that it comes on because what I'm going to do, I'm going to make up a stone, um, cobblestone base and stick all the items together on one base because that base isn't big enough to take the support and pipe work. So that's what I'm going to do for there. These are the instructions. You just get the one diagram on that side and then on this side you get the complete list of how you put it together step by step even in painting instructions so what I'll do now is I'll continue a bit more okay as you can see I'm setting up the stone base as a kind of a, an L shape um, using the Wills Scenic uh, materials pack. Uh, these are granite sets. What I'm going to do is place all these on, all these bits and pieces, so that will sit there. And then the boiler house would sit just about there. And the chimney will go on the back, just about there. There's another outhouse building which will go in this area here. So I think if I can get it all on there, even if I just move things around slightly. So the next thing to do, remove them, that is to notch that piece out there and then glue this piece to that bit then it gives it a more solid base so I shall do that just by using a craft knife cuts ever so easy this stuff all it's doing, all the knife is doing is following the groove that's already there and it just cuts it away in that corner. There you go. 
And then that's sitting there nicely. So you've got the cobbles going round the edge. So I'll clean up this edge, glue them together, and then that'll give us the foundation for the building. The only thing is, on the back, you've got these, these, uh, well, look like nipples protruding, uh, which will keep it off the surface, so they'll have to be taken off as well. You might get away with just and just give them a little bit of sandpaper afterwards. So I'll clean up these edges, glue it together, and we'll see where we go from there. Okay, as you can see, I've trimmed it down a little bit um, to suit the space on the layout. Um, I've put the hole in ready for the LEDs. Now, the most important thing when you're sticking edge to edge um, plastic card together is put a piece of glue on both both edges and just let it sort of melt in for 30 seconds or so and then push the two edges together and you see the glue come up and you basically you can hardly see the joint okay and I've done the same with the curb stones on the edge of there just push it together and you can actually see the plastic melting yeah, I've only just done that bit right so that's the space that's the wall there and that's where the road is so there's just enough room between that edge and the paving on the layout just to get a brick wall in there's two basic layouts of the buildings um, with the kit I was going to go for that one but now I've opted for that one because I haven't got the space to put the outer building at the back um, due to the paving and the wall there so I've left enough space to put a wall in, in there next thing is to start laying the buildings on there that's the base of the pumping house that's my pipe work coming away from the pumping house this is the outer building which I'll just go on there it just fits and the chimney which will go there so that's how I'm going to set it out And then that's the main pumping house which is going to sit on there. Right, and that's how it's going to look on the layout. Right, as you can see, I have now glued most of the components to the base um, in preparation for painting. And the shape works out quite well for where it's going to go. Um, you'll see that um, when I come to finish it. The job I'm going to paint is all this sandstone along this edge, all along here, all around there, so and around the base of the chimney. So that's the first job I'm going to do. And the two colours I'm going to use to get the um, sandstone effect is Humbrol Matte 74 and Humbrol Matte 33 well I think it's one part to four and it gives you this kind of effect I'll show you on the station here it gives you that kind of sandstone effect so that's what I'm trying to achieve mind you that's been weathered so okay so I use a, an old yoghurt pot Whenever you mix some paint, you always put the light colour in first and then just add the dark colour to suit. Like I say, it's just a tiny bit of black and just mix that in and it'll go the sandy stone colour. There you go, go in that colour. That's what I'm looking for. 
Hopefully I've got enough to do this job. <laughs> Let me just brush it on. Bear in mind it will be uh, weathered at a later date, so... Right, I shall continue with this and then show you when it's completed. Right, as you can see I have done all the sandstone now. Um, it does look a bit squeaky clean. And I've also done the pipe work there. I've uh, just painted it matte black. So that's, that's that little job done. Um, another thing I've done, I've added a hole there for a lamppost. Because um, once this is finished, there'll be barrels and other bits of stuff. And uh, it'll be nice to have this little yard lit up as well. It's the floor you get with the kit, and it's just a piece of cardboard um, folded up. Um, it's, it's not very good, so I'm going to bin that. And I have put in a wooden floor using the Will's sleepers that came with the level crossing. Um, once that's painted up and uh, varnished that would uh, look better than that piece of brick card that was on the floor. Uh, it's slowly coming together, um, all the silver bits are done, even the actual um, chimney that's been silver streaked rather than silver painted fully. Um, the woodwork and the windows gone in the back that's all been done green. So we're slowly getting there. I've uh, left a little hole there for the LEDs. So yeah, so the next part is to paint the floor and start looking at the brick building that goes on the top. Um, Okay, I've decided to make some um, more pipework, but this time to go inside of the pump house. Some gauges that came with the kit, so I could use them. And I'm making all the pipework out of little bits and pieces. And that will sit inside the pump house when it's painted. So I'm just going to wait for the glue to go off now. And I'll probably add a couple more valves. Uh, along the front there. Right, so that's that bit. Right, look at the size of that table and chairs. No more than about 12 mil high. Um, they were challenging to make. Very challenging. Uh, they're glued now. Uh, spilled a little bit of glue on the floor, but it doesn't matter. So, it's... Uh, slowly getting there. It's a bit of a challenge this one. As you can see I've painted the floor as well. So that's looking good. Alright as you can see I've uh, brush washed the brickwork in. And I'm using three colours. I was using a yellow matte 74. A, a red matte 73, a really dark red. Me matte 330 just to give it a bit of sheen. Um, just tiny bits in a pot, just mixed and um, experimented, uh, mainly using the yellow as a base and then just while it's still wet just add a little bit of dark red and a little bit of red, a light red uh, just to get a different tone of bricks that's all. So our next job now is to fit the windows and the doors to this so I shall do that and get back to you. I'm still waiting, waiting for the glue to dry on the pipework. I see I've got a little valve handle on there now. So once that's done I can paint that black and paint the gauges uh, white and insert the gauge dials and then that can be glued in place. Right as you can see the pipework inside the pump house is finished. Um, the gauges that you see came with the kit anyway, so I just had to cut those out. 
and they are all fitted now. So there's only one thing left to do now, basically, before I start working on the outside. That's to fit the LED inside the brick building. The brick building now has got its door fitted and the porch is on. So basically I'm just following instructions, there's no deviation from the instructions for this part. Okay, as you can see the building is now glued onto the stone base. The skylight on now and the roof on the small side out building. Right, the LED works in this one, just a quick check to be sure. There it is, it's come on. You can see the little table, the chairs, and the control cabinet, and the guy standing there. Right, so that works. I'm happy with that now. Right, so, basically, it's just finishing off the kit now. Right, okay, uh, as you can see, the kit is uh, finished. Um, all the painting's done. Uh, every single bit of detail you see is what you get with the kit apart from the pipework of course which I've uh, had to uh, make up myself and uh, the little landing I've got here but yeah it's a fantastic kit um, it's a bit fiddly um, there's quite a lot of work involved so there's only one job left to do now to finish it off and that's to weather it. So first of all I'm going to add some rusty bits to the chimney first. I'm using the Humbrol Rust Wash. So I'll just basically pick out a few bits, let it run down. Before it settles, just get a cotton bud and just to take off. Take off as much as you want, but I just want to just have a, a little bit of rust on there, not over the top, just where it's been running down. I'm even just putting a little few markers on the on the top there up. and just wave it off again. Next one is the dark green. Let's put a little bit around the top there. Got the tiny bits on the top of there. get your cornboard and wipe it off. So that's the chimney done. Don't need a lot. Right so I'll just put a little bit of green wash on the roofs. Just a little bit on the skylight. Maybe just a little bit where the lid flashing is. do. So just a little bit along there. That's it. And a little bit along that lid flashing along the back. If you notice I'm going with the tiles so it looks like it's running down. It's just very subtle. Now I'm going to do the, do the stonework um, all the way around. I'm using a slightly bigger brush this time and I'm using dark grey. 
and just want to try and take as much off of the brush as possible maybe dab it on a bit of kitchen towel and just gently take the edges in the corners and then just take it off just as quick as you put it on Don't need a lot. Don't need a lot at all. There you go. Right, shall I continue with the grey and then we'll see what happens next. Okay, I have now done the cobbles with the dark grey all round and look at the transformation. Right, but we're not finished yet because where these dark areas are in the corners, round the steps, up against the wall, right in the crevices, we need to go back to the dark green. So you've got like a mouldy effect in the corners. You can be a little bit generous with the dark green, just get it right in there. So it's. So you only need it in the dark crevices up against the walls and just wipe it off but not heavy just because you need to leave some of that green there like so. I don't know if you can see that very well but you've just left enough green in there to give it uh, the moulded moldy, moldy look. Alright so I'll finish off now and we'll see it completed. It's not a bad little kit from Ratio and there's still lots of bits and pieces left over. I've got tables and chairs and all sorts left over so you get plenty of bits. Right, let's put it where it's going to go. Okay, uh, Right, the pump house is now sited next to the gasometer where it's going to be staying. There's still a lot more work to do in this area still. There's the greenery and the ballasting of the tracks and a few other pieces. So, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.